All right, Alec, welcome. Welcome. We're coming to the end of the road here, just about for Shrek. Pretty incredible. Pretty Shrek, Shrek, Shrekifying, really. Hmm. When it comes down to it. Something like that. Yeah. Today we're here to do a special thing. We're about to talk about <laughs> all the Shrek shorts. Every every Shrek and Shrek adjacent short. Uh, the only the only thing that's not we're not covering is the interactive film. Yeah, I think it was Netflix's first interactive Puss sort of thing. In book. Puss in book, which is very strange, <laughs> and I I hate that title very much. Yeah. Um, one day, one day we'll talk about Puss in book. Yeah, I guess we can we can come back to that at some point. Table that. Yeah shelf um, that book yeah overall yeah. there are 10 short films at least there are 10 no there, there are basically 10 10 shorts short films special features etc etc yeah. uh, across shrek media um and we are going to be covering talking about all 10 of them today yeah that's gonna be it's gonna be great it's gonna be great great time i'm sure uh to start I wonder, do you do you have one in mind without saying it? Do you have one in mind that's your favorite? Are you, that's are my you... favorite. Because I want to, um, I want to see if we can s- sync up on this. Uh, but yes, I do have uh, a favorite. It's clear to me. Yeah. Uh, all right. Three, right. two, one. Scared Shrekless. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. it was so good. it was, it was very good. <laughs> <laughs> it was very good. Honestly, it was my it, one of my favorite that one. pieces. One of my favorite pieces of Shrek media. I was shocked. I was, um, and we'll get into why uh, shortly. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get into why I was shocked shortly. Um, so, do we want to go through each of them, or do we just do general thoughts? I, or I mean, so I, I think I just did some brief brief thoughts about each one. I, I watched them in like chronological order, or like order of which they were released, basically. So, mm. starting with Shrek the karaoke. Shrek party. and the Swamp Karaoke Party. Yeah. This is one of the two. This one, Far, Far Away Idol, I had seen because there were uh, yeah. bonuses for on the DVDs. Yep, yep. same. Uh, so. When when he had rented these uh, growing up, uh, these are the two that I remember as well. We used to listen. We would just like play this all, them a lot for some reason, too. We were really into it. Despite the fact that this is only... it's They're both... So Shrek, Shrek and the Swamp Karaoke Party is like three minutes long and it crams in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, like 11 songs. Yeah. Like some of it is just like a tiny little voice clip. Yeah. And yeah. it's like, yeah. This, um, I mean, Shrek and the Swamp Karaoke Party is great. It's a classic. No, it's really not great. It's I don't, I didn't, I did not enjoy it. And uh, like, you're like getting all. down, like she's doing laying down and doing this moves and stuff. I don't know. It was very similar a far far away idol in a sense yeah uh, it's just kind of shrek and friends singing i think songs. i think i want to say that i think i want to say that i i i can't say which one i liked more i i will say the ending of uh so here's the thing uh the shrek in the swamp karaoke party um was very short and i think that was maybe just to its detriment it was very very clearly just like the shrek character rigs um it was just, you know, it was, it was, it was all right. It was okay. Mm-hmm. Um, the the music choice was, I mean, from Like a Virgin to uh, yeah. Dance to the Music and Happy Together. The, you know, I will say, pretty cool. I actually really like the fact that they mixed Dance to the Music and Happy Together, like, in a, in a, like a cool little, like, playing off each other. That was kind of neat, actually. <laughs> uh, every other song, I, I, I just didn't care. Um, including songs that I like, so uh, right. I mean, there's, it's not actually a piece of quality here. This this show, no, but it's just, no, it's, <laughs> it's just a fun gag. It's it's <laughs> it's fine. I was not overly keen on it, but it was fine. Yeah. Uh, the next one was that I watched was Ghost of Lord Farquaad, which was actually Shrek 4D or Shrek 3D. I can totally it see a... that now that you mention it. Yeah. Oh, it was Probably. so, I, I was so, oh, it was, it, was, it was beyond like very obvious that it was a 3D. <laughs> Cause they like so many gags where they were like, oh, they like throw something and it would like, and then like come back and it's like, oh. They really it's... killed the ghost with fire, by the way. I didn't know that's how that worked. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't know either. It, like they killed him and he shattered into like, like 50 sh- far quads and, <laughs> and, really then <laughs> and then died and then died yeah 
And how do you um, kill a ghost, first of all? And how are you killing it with fire? I don't really understand, but uh, the ghost of Lord Farquaad didn't really deliver. You know, you'd think, no. you know, it's like, oh, I, an excuse to bring back Lord Farquaad. That'll be fun. Yeah, but... I feel like as a as a 4D experience, so I, I imagine that when they were doing stuff that they were, like, splashing the audience when they are going down the river, mm-hmm. and, like, there was, like, oh, air, like, getting, like, oh, when the, when the dragon was breathing fire, it would, like, get really warm. That part, I, I like elements like that and like theme park rides, but it's a theme park ride. Mm-hmm. You know, it's not, this isn't, this isn't. I've never, I've never, yeah, I've never really encountered a 4D production that was quality either. You yeah, know? no, they're all pretty bad. So <laughs> one, one I'm most familiar with is the SpongeBob 4D experience, which is really I, something else. The ones I remember, I went to a, I went to an old one, a classic. Uh, it was a Honey, I Shrunk the Kids one at Disney Hollywood Studios. This is one that had been running, but it seemed like, in the seats, this seemed like it was one that had been running since, like, the 90s. Hmm. It was old. It was old. And I, and it was, you know, it was exactly what you'd expect. Um, there was also a Muppets one I went to, same place. That was, it was all right, you know. Mm-hmm. But, so this one, The Ghost of Lord Farquaad, was this post-Shrek, I guess? Like, it was, before Shrek it was, 2? It was before Shrek 2. Um, Which is interesting, then, because they, they had uh, the Humpty Dumpty uh, gravestone there. Yeah, I saw that. Interesting. Humpty, Humpty Dumpty gravestone. Um, I also wrote down the line, it cost me a lot of dough. Yeah. Because it made me mad. <laughs> <laughs> that made you mad? I mean, Gingy's whole thing, that's his whole thing, is it's just, whole like, shtick. baking... Baking, baking puns, pl- yeah. Puns, yeah. It, was, it was dumb. It was stupid. Um, Thelonious, yeah, so Thelonious was... ignored Fiona's slow mo kick and went around and grabbed her. Which, by the way, yeah, it was weird. Which, by the way, was Felonius like a really popular character? Because he shows up in a lot of the like all these two I early think he ones. He was just had like... this weird cult following because he. I remember yeah. him being in like the Shrek video games too, as like a playable character in some of them. So, I was like, huh. I didn't even remember him. <laughs> <laughs> He's got that the... weird voice, though. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Feelings. <laughs> um, yeah. So, Far, Far Away Idol. Um, I don't know if I got wait, all wait, the... Wait, 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 wait. What, oh, what was oh, Pinocchio on. doing in The Ghost of Lord Farquaad, by the way? Remember sure. there were, there was a scene where Shrek and Fiona are kissing, and then Pinocchio like pops up out of, no, out of nowhere like while they're kissing? Oh, yeah. Like, it was between them or something, and Shrek is like, what were you doing? Or something. I don't know yeah. what he was doing. Was it? Was it? Was there like a weird effect in the audience or something where like all of a sudden you're getting poked oh, your wow. back or something by him? <laughs> right under like the this, seat. Yeah, under wow. the seat that you're getting oh, poked by. Him. That's that the, the only thing I could. That's the only thing I could oh, think of. Honest, no, honestly, like because uh, there's some. Telling that, a lie, or you just happen yeah. to see me? I mean, come on. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> kind of, yeah, ex- exactly. So wait, is Far Far Away Idol the next one? Far Far Away at All was the next one. It was the Shrek 2 special feature. This is iconic. It's it's so it is, cringy that it's just amazing. It, it is it is very iconic, but I will say um, I hated this. I think I probably liked it worse than the first one. And the reason why is because of the most phoned-in performance I think I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> Simon Cowell did not care. Simon Cowell doesn't he, even play good Simon Cowell. No, he yeah. didn't want to be there. He was just like they literally gave him the sheet and he like read off his lines I mean, like they this. They gave him some stupid lines, but oh, they were the oh the puns were just oh it was terror oh it was bad. Hook, line, um, and stink. You're right, Tinky. Hook, line, and stinker. And then, um, <laughs> and then uh, Shrek and Fiona's singing voices were so obviously not them I that it was that. painful. Yeah. It was it was um, worth noting. That in the the original Shrek two, uh, bonus feature for this, you could yes. pick, you could pick the winner. You could, and yeah. I was I was a little sad that they didn't show all the all the because they had little celebrations for all of them too. Yeah, like, it was like were, it would it would give them for all like the side characters if you picked them, it would do the Simon Cowell ending anyway. But yeah. if you picked he was like, like one of the three main characters, it would actually have a different ending. Yeah. Nope. I don't. I don't agree with that. I actually mm-hmm. really liked that performance of my way too. That was actually, <laughs> I thought that was funny, but it couldn't redeem the rest of the short uh, in my mind. I think it's fun. I think Domo Arigato is peak Pinocchio. I think that's the best work. That's actually done. probably, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to agree with you there. Actually, that's probably <laughs> the best thing. <laughs> Domo Arigato. When Shrek, when, he, when Shrek whipped out that harmonica, I was with him. I was, I was there for it. Yeah, it was Loved okay. It. 
Boots boots are made for walking. Also, Puss in Boots, classic. Cat eyes were featured in this short. Cat eyes were short. featured in this short. <laughs> yeah, it's very were, true. Like, going through the options to vote, he was it's doing the cat true. eyes. Shrek the Falls. <laughs> okay. Uh, um, I gotta say, the Christmas ones did not do it for me in, gen- in general. Just not. Extreme Shrek 3, Shrek the Third energy in this one. <laughs> yeah. And to its infinite detriment. Mm-hmm. Um, I did like the O Fortuna. When or o Fortuna yes, O Fortuna's <laughs> o Fortuna showing up was pretty great. No, I'm not gonna lie, that was that was or pretty like, awesome. Meet the surprise, Fiona, and then just storms off in the blizzard. That was pretty great. Mm-hmm. I I would agree with that. It was like O Fortuna showing up. That was great. Yeah, and I, I did that. like when he said to the the little store runner, and he's like, "I have to make a Christmas. I have to make a Christmas. And I don't know what that is or how to do that." Yeah, he said something like that. I didn't really understand what the lesson was here. Like Shrek was the most right I think he's ever been in the entire uh, franchise. Wrote justice for Shrek. <laughs> justice for Shrek. Are you, gonna, I, I, you can't tell me Shrek was being mean and unreasonable there. I think I think I called this. Uh, I think I was saying this is well, one of my housemates came down and I was like, "This I'm gonna rename this one. Uh, Shrek is right. Yeah. The short the short film. <laughs> Shrek, it's, Shrek. Shrek's Shrek's friends ruin his Christmas party." Uh, for his family, yeah, and then Fiona walked out on him. I'm like, Fiona, <laughs> like he's right, he's totally right. <laughs> and you even like agreed with him when you were walking away. You're then like telling Donkey, like, what the hell? <laughs> you know, we what never the took the time to, to think about what Trek wanted. Actually, now that I think of it, now that I think yeah. about it, maybe I should have walked out. Yeah, <laughs> and he did storm off into a blizzard just to like make a Christmas for you, Fiona. But okay, whatever, Shrek's. Mean old Shrek, ogreisms. Yeah, there was there was it, Shrek the Third energy was real in this one. Like all the little like side jokes, side characters. Um, also, the, don't like, don't stop believing was playing at the Christmas party. That was that was interesting to me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess why not, right? Yeah. But yeah, all all the side characters get show the babies. I I did like. I did like the fact that Shrek was really trying to tell his kids the story. I thought that was really cute. And then it kept getting interrupted and I was getting angry. <laughs> I was like, and it was like, oh, cool. Now we get Donkey's terrible version and this isn't funny and I don't like it. Right. Um, <laughs> See, I'll say I did like the little gags where they should have had the story where Santa eats Gingy's date. That was fun. Mm. Just <laughs> straight up ate her, and then there's yeah. the the blind mice just start hammering stockings into Pinocchio. I t- <laughs> that was that was pretty funny. I will agree <laughs> with that. Yeah, um, but yeah, overall not not too keen on that one. Um, yeah, I mean it's definitely the best the the Christmas ones have to offer. But <clears throat> scared Shrekless is is next. Yeah, scared, scared Shrekless. There's a lot here. Yeah, there was a lot here. Uh, this was great. I loved basically every every minute of this it was a bunch of horror film parodies uh with all the shrek characters and for the for the most part but also like the um the the, the bride of gingy whatever that one was called <laughs> that's was, the best work that gingy's done also yeah for sure also Christian Chow uh, plays his uh, girlfriend. Oh, and, <laughs> I didn't know. Uh, and uh, yeah, it was a uh, great, great voice actress. So tell me She's about great. the beginning of Shre- Scared Shrekless, where the, we were just thrust into the aftermath of these kids, like of the Shrek babies, what they had, they had done. He was like, good job grabbing that fat kid or something. And then <laughs> and the, and Fiona's like, Felicia got her first clump of hair. And she had a clump, a clump of hair in her hand. I'm like, <laughs> They like destroyed someone or, or some family or something trick guess, or treating. Yeah, they were going in scaring. They were doing. They were the ones doing the scaring for trick or treating. It was crazy. Like, Pinocchio hangs himself. Pinocchio yeah, was... hangs himself as a costume. I was like, wow, thank yeah. you. Yeah, wow, wow indeed. Wonderful. He was like, I, wor- I spent so much time on this. He just kept yeah, hanging like, himself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> um, but. He also he also has a great moment too because you realize that he they didn't he, his nose didn't grow when he denied uh, the the ending of his story yeah ever happening just like hey so <laughs> yeah. there's a little bit of truth there <laughs> so uh, they they show Duloc being all run down that was interesting or they yeah the, the original they, Farquad town and they and they talked about the ghost of Farquad in this actually yeah which I thought was a cute little nod to the earlier short. Mm-hmm. They've mentioned a couple of times, like the ghost of Farquaad. Like, 
Yeah. There's no ghost here. <laughs> so. But then, yeah, the whole Gingy thing was like where he added too much sugar yeah. for his woman that it was yeah. being created. And then it was just hor- horrifying. <laughs> horrifying. It was so horrifying. It was it was quite funny. Um, yeah. There was a multiplied army. And then he was like, after, "Yeah, then they ate me. Then they ate me. Yeah. <laughs> well, if they ate you. Then how are you here? <laughs> <laughs> and then the little piggies ran off. They ran yeah, off the, crying. The piggies, the piggies ran off home. And the wolf said, "Oh, they're gonna do that all the way home." <laughs> <laughs> I, I gotta, I gotta go. They're my ride. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that was that was pretty great. Um, yeah. So, and then you um, get into the the donkey and Puss in Boots story, where they're both trying to tell the story, and they're they're adding and changing details as it goes. <laughs> that was that pretty was fun. It, it, I love the fact that we we have like an animated version of what happens when two people are trying to tell impress yeah. you with a story. And it's like wow, that's like <laughs> it's like an animated version of that. It was really fun. Um, yeah, and it's basically Prince a parody of, in there. parody of Psycho. Yeah, um, he was like was it was a... Prince. Har- it was Prince Charming, and he was packing heat, and he had a <laughs> magic wand. <laughs> um, but yeah, they did a little Psycho reference, and then Puss in Boots had a waffle like eat eat donkey. It just started mm-hmm. getting wild. Yeah, it was uh, quite the quite the story. <laughs> what a story, Mark. <laughs> um and uh but yeah that yeah. whole then the whole shrek store is wild the yeah, pinocchio the, had this, some qu- crazy vomiting maneuver on him that yeah we really it was shocked. the the exorcist parody uh, they yeah. even used like the music they used the music from these movies too they used the music from the shining uh <laughs> music from the exorcist um yeah. that was like to me that was like oh because those movies have such iconic scores um the fact that they they use them in this like at a, at a level of like oh like that's fun that's <laughs> nice at a level of like humor to it to me um that i really appreciated so yeah i think so. the shrek shorts and this one specifically given us the best that jinji's done and the best that pinocchio has done you know yeah. between this and domo arigato yeah it's the best work yeah <laughs> um i agree this was uh, this was a lot of fun um this took place after shrek 4 <laughs> Um, and to me, the quality of the, the quality of the, the, the animation and lighting alone of this. We really did. Gr- so all these other shorts took place after Shrek four. It, they all did wow. this one though. This one really, to me, used the lighting rigs that they, that they started using in Shrek forever after. Yeah. It was so good. Like, it just looks so good. It popped right off, right off the screen. I was like, this is the first one. I was like, wow, this movie, this, this looks great. <laughs> like, um, so yeah, that was, uh. That was fun. Yeah. The rest of them didn't fare quite as well. I, I didn't. I didn't think. So next is Donkey's Christmas Shrektacular. Of course, of course. Yeah. Um, I did which... not expect the Forever After Ogres to be involved. In yeah, the I was like, do we have some timeline jumping or something? Like, what's going on here? Why are they? Why are they around? Well, yeah. I guess it doesn't around... matter. It's in the short world. Yeah. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, yeah, it was a little weird because I was like, oh, okay. Because once they resolved everything, then all the ogres, huh? Yeah, went back. So but, how do we? But have they have to. The... They, they probably still exist somewhere, they, right? Yeah, I guess they existed. Maybe they went and found them or something out <laughs> in the woods. It's like, hey, Cookie, like. You... <laughs> and the Shrek baby spoke. The Shrek baby spoke in this short a little bit. That was weird. I uh, thought it was weird. I was like, aren't they supposed to be like infants? Still? I know. Like. They're like having pacifiers and they're speaking words to you. Mm-hmm. It's, it's the most notable part of Shrek Yule Log when we get to that one as well. Yeah, yeah, Shrek, Shrek Yule Log. Yeah. Uh, but they did the half ass uh, cat eyes. Cat eyes made another yeah. appearance. Half ass yeah, cat eyes for the Fleas Navidad. Uh, that was, song. which is probably the worst number in all of these terrible, terrible parodies. I didn't like any of them. Fairy tale um, rock. And they started singing fairy tale rock. I wasn't really here for this short. I was not into it too much. No, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't like it. I mean, I was. It was mercifully only five minutes long, so it was very short. Um, but yeah, I was not not here for it. Mm-hmm. Not here for it at all. It was. In fact, I think this is one of the first instances where I was actually like. Most of the time, when when they talk about like what the ogres eat, I was like, ah, that's that's fun. It's like it's gross, you know, whatever. This is the first one where I was like, all right, this is kind of disgusting. 
Like, please mm-hmm. stop talking about it. Like, it legitimately was kind of making me feel not good. Oh. Um, so Very good effective. for them, I guess. Um, but then we move on to the Shrek's Yule Log. <laughs> this one's this one's straight fire. This one is yes, legitimately fire. I uh, I have full disclosure. Uh, I did not sit and watch all thirty minutes of it because it's a Yule yeah, Log. I, so it, I, just, I let it rock just in case there was some gems in there, and I did stuff. I, I in the background. So because I watched it on net, uh, no, I watched this on YouTube actually. They don't have it on Netflix. They, they probably put it up on Netflix for the um, for like the holidays. Um, you know, you're, you have themed Yule logs and stuff. I think yeah. Disney Plus has an Arendell Yule log. I want to watch that one at some point. But um, mm-hmm. this one, I just sort of skimmed through and looked for action. Um, and there was there's like a good amount. There was I said there was a good like 15, 20 instances. Yeah, uh, I do. I do have to say that they, when they started reusing the cookie one, I was getting a little sick of it. <laughs> the cookie, yeah. Um, cookie. And uh, but the, the, literally the one note I put was that the Shrek baby says, "I don't want this. Here you go," and, and g- gives something to the donkey dragon baby. Yeah. But I was like, "Whoa, that's full." Yeah, that full was words. that was like a full sentence. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't want this. Here you go. <laughs> what? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, uh, so I knew Puss in Boots when he started eating cookies. I was like, all right, so he's going to get fat. So we're going to see fat Puss in Boots. I didn't even think about that. So... Uh, I knew I knew it as soon as that <laughs> happened. Um, I do like also, oh, one more thing to note. I do like Rumpelstiltskin just randomly being in some of these, mm-hmm. even though I thought him being kept in a cage in this Christmas Shrektacular was kind of creepy. Right, right. And it was like, I thought you was a Christmas elf. And I'm like, <laughs> So you're keeping him in a cage? It's a little creepy, donkey. <laughs> it's, it's a little weird, man. I don't know what kind of things you're into, but yeah, yeah. Like Rumpelstiltskin coming and trying to douse the fire—that was fun. But yeah, Fiona just keeps there. It's like, all right, let's put out Santa to do some cookies, and then it's like, uh, Gingy's trying to liberate all the cookies from being eaten. Mm-hmm. Just that's that's kind of cute. I mm-hmm. guess this is all right, but I, you know, this is yeah, not, not a really. Yule log I, I'm ever going to put on. Ever no, again. no, 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 no. Oh, also the no, no, no. <laughs> also the Pied Piper. You love the Pied Piper anytime he comes up. I mean, he's, I mean, he's, he's one of my favorites. Um, <laughs> I did not like, he was like, we'll oh, right. him. no, it's not. Uh, speaking of not the last we're going to see of him, uh, next is Thriller Night. Oh, I mean, unless you have any more to add about the Yule no, Log. No, I don't. It's literally a 30-minute Yule Log. If you like Shrek, I throw it on at Christmas time, I, I, I guess. Wouldn't. But if you like I, Shrek, I, I, I'd say I, that. I honestly wouldn't. But yeah. uh, if you want to do what I did, go to YouTube and just look up Shrek Yule Log and then just skip through until you see like action happening, and then there you go. Uh, Thriller, Thriller Night, Night might be one of the single weirdest pieces of Shrek media. <laughs> Why does this exist? Well, full-on Thriller and I've never, seen, I've never seen someone so pissed about having to watch a musical on Halloween. He was so pissed. Yeah, what? I don't understand. Pissed. I don't. <laughs> yeah, he, he was, was, he was pretty upset. He was, I don't. He, he was like, "This is not what I want to see today." But, but it was probably going to be Rocky Horror Picture Show too. It's like, how can you be pissed off when you're watching that? Uh, like, <laughs> he's like, "This is the last thing I want to see on Halloween." <laughs> Jesus, how did we get to this point? Uh, you're at the theater. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you still complaining about it? <laughs> but then it goes into his full-on thriller parody. Yeah, it's so bizarre. But all the Shrek villains make an appearance. All, all, all the Shrek villains show up. Um, they all rose from their graves. Lord yeah. Farquaad, the fairy godmother, Rumpel King Harold. King Harold showed up in frog form too, which is really creepy. Yeah, all of our um, deceased friends. Oh, by the way, so I'm I'm as I'm looking through the chronological order, a 3D version of this short was available mm-hmm. uh, on the Nintendo 3DS. By the way, oh, so, okay, I'll keep that in mind. Yeah, uh, I don't think it's it's not available at all anymore. By the way, so, okay, uh, that was in that was when it came out. So anyway, this was pretty wild though. Yeah, I mean, it was just kind of why, like why? I I just I I just, I was scratching my head through the whole thing, just being like, why does this exist? It was 2011, like a really big. I'm trying to remember. It was like that. Is that when like This Is It came out, which is like the Michael Jackson documentary? Maybe. Maybe. Um, like around that period of time or something. It was just very strange. I, I you know, I, I, <laughs> I was into it. Honestly, it was all right. It was strange. Uh, but it was okay, especially compared to what we had next. 
which even though I do appreciate the parody, uh, the pig who cried werewolf, very strange. Yeah, um, and are we making it canon now that this this wolf like transforms all along into a that he transforms into a a woman with knives? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I didn't know that was what we were going for. That he was a werewolf, but like, like a, a reverse werewolf. Yeah, well, but, that would be wouldn't he, would that be wolf man? No, maybe right. not. Wolf man's yeah. a certain thing. Werewolf, a wolf wear maybe. But I mean, it was interesting. But that's like. He's supposed to be the big bad wolf, right? Yeah, right. But even with the big bad wolf, he never really fit that. You know, he was always just kind of a weird, like, uh, off-brand yeah. version of that because he didn't actually huff and puff and blow things down. He was just always existed in the background in his, like, in his gown. Super chill, you know? Yeah. This was a rear, kind of a rear window parody. Right, um, right. <laughs> al- along with a werewolf story which i mean i kind of appreciate i appreciate that because that that is probably my favorite hitchcock film um love it it's but, it's kind of nice that they did the whole little like fairy tale things how the one pig would went and ruined stuff and uh kept thinking something was off with all these fairy tales and then never learning his lesson and then mm-hmm. here actually is something weird going on mm-hmm. but i do like the fact that they one thing I actually did enjoy also was the fact that like you saw the, the the werewolf was just doing really weird things and then it all becomes clear because he's trying to mitigate what he does in his human form uh-huh. as the woman. Yeah, yeah. Uh he so he's like burying the knives in the backyard to keep her from like killing them, yeah. basically. But it doesn't work. It's weird. So it's so weird. Yeah, it's pretty weird. Yeah. <laughs> then we only have one left after that. Puss. Uh, which was Puss in Boots, the Three Diablos, and I will say, uh, this is probably my second favorite. Um, I did really like this, though I, 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 I will say uh, a lot of overuse of the eyes. Cat they did eyes. the cat eyes, cat they eye off, so, cat eye off. Yeah, it was more off. than just cat eyes; it was a cat eye off. <laughs> and I would say that I was almost gonna say, oh, every everything that puss appears in he does the cat eyes but i mean i guess there are a couple of shorts in here we miss out on it but but yeah, the, at least at least the, the shorts as a whole he has the cat eyes in there so every so he basically does cat eyes every chance you have puss in boots there so it's crazy pretty true pretty true but they had this whole little guy the whisperer <laughs> that was pretty funny. <laughs> so random, this, so <laughs> random like, like the three these three Diablo kittens are somehow connected to the whisper and like, oh, you brought him here. Yeah. And then as he's fallen, he whispers like, <laughs> as he's fallen. Ah. Uh, um, My favorite part of this is when the jail. The people in the jail cells are reaching out with their hands. Yeah. And the, yeah. They're like, food, water. Food. And one is yeah. like, toilet paper. Toilet paper. <laughs> and and like, uh, like, uh, yeah, you don't want to touch that guy's <laughs> hand. Uh, yeah, I liked, I liked this one a lot. This was this was very entertaining. Um, it was just the three little kittens were very cute. And I like cats, so <laughs> okay. it worked. I mean, even the eye thing is kind of like a like a overplayed joke at this point. Um like I wonder, does he use it a lot in the in the animated show? Do you think he uses it every episode? <laughs> every episode. <laughs> every episode. Do you think it comes into play? Every season um, at the climax, most climactic point is there for sure. Yeah, that's yeah, but yeah. It was a it was a, a cute little story. Yeah. Is that what right? happened? There's the Shrek shorts. That's it. Yeah. There's your there's your rundown. Do your you Shrek feel, shorts. Do you feel better for having seen the Shrek shorts? Not really. <laughs> Most of them were pretty crap, honestly. Uh, was it, I mean, was special crap st- worth it for Scared Shrekless? Yeah, kind of. I actually might say it was because that was that was that was really great. I thought I, I just like the fact that they went. I mean, they all the little all the little cute little details. The fact that they went back to Duloc, yeah, and uh, Duloc is uh, scary. They had the they had the the. You know, yeah. the Duloc song. It was like, uh, ba, 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 ba. and there was so much packed into that yeah. one. Um, yeah. So the ones, the only ones like... I really care about are are scared Shrekless, kind of a uh, thriller night. It was kind of fun, and then the two singing ones just for the memes. I think are funny. 
so yeah for me it was uh, scare trackless um and uh, i did really enjoy the three diablos uh the pig who cried werewolf was okay mm-hmm. as well i mean I, again i appreciate the parody parts of it it was a very weird short <laughs> yeah. um yeah uh, i'm just trying to think if there's any other ones not, not really i mean if you're looking to me i didn't like it but i think as a, as a piece of interest uh, of media because i there's going to be tons of people that never saw it. It's just the ghost of Lord Farquaad. I think in terms of like, they were working on trying to build out the Shrek world there. You know, you had, you had all the characters showing up, you had Gingy along for the ride. And then you had uh, mm-hmm. at least part of it. Um, you had Farquaad coming back, trying to kidnap Fiona. You had dragon showing up and saving the day. And they probably never thought they were going to even have Humpty Dumpty in a movie at this yeah. point. But like they were probably just doing a fairy tale reference by having Humpty Dumpty mm-hmm. there and fall over. But it's interesting now that that does end up being a character that does die. Yeah, actually. So yeah, and could it, and the timeline wise could line up, right? Cause, yeah, because uh, it was I don't know some why time be before. There, but, yeah. But, <laughs> yeah. All right. So I mean, the best one is, is Scared Shrekless. Mm-hmm. The worst one is Shrek's Yule Log. <laughs> I I. Yeah. Yeah, is yeah. either that or the or Donkey's Christmas Tacular or whatever. Yeah, all the Christmas ones did not do well yeah, for me no, so much. I didn't I didn't like them. Though we always will will argue justice for Shrek in that <laughs> one Shrek the Hall. Oh yeah, yeah, that was terrible. Yeah, I know. It was like Shrek's not wrong. And the fe- well, here's the other thing about that one too. All of his apologies, he doesn't really apologize. And I was like, Yes, he shouldn't apologize. <laughs> I would be saying the same thing. It's like yeah. it's not I mean I, I'm sorry that you're all really annoying. And it was like, <laughs> <laughs> they're all getting upset, like, "Oh, these are the fake apologies." Come on, Shrek, give us a real apology, you know? But yeah. like, you don't it's deserve like, you, it. No, <laughs> <laughs> you did everything wrong, and you didn't apologize to him for wrecking his party. <laughs> but it's the end of the road for Shrek. All right, we're gonna come yeah. back next week and talk about all the ups and downs and uh, our whole experience like, here. A series review, a yeah. Shre- Shrek review. A little bit of a retrospective looking back on the experience. It was quite the journey. Yeah. Honestly, yeah, you'll I think you'll you'll appreciate what I have to say, especially if you've watched if you watched us all the way through this point, you watched the intro all the way to now, I think you'll you'll find some things to appreciate what I have to say. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean I'm sure Zach as well. Zach, you know, had a, it was for him it was a hard hitting look at his childhood. For me it was what how do I think what do I think about this film series that I've had a negative sort of yeah and you were going into towards. it thinking that shrek the musical is like the best that we we're gonna get right yeah and not even close no not even close no <laughs> it'll be fun so thank you for watching what video would you recommend our viewers go watch now uh you should go i mean if uh, honestly uh you should check out i was gonna say the top animated films that define us but i think i already said that one didn't i recently mm-hmm once we do the revised list that incorporates Shrek into both of our lists. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're not going to do that. No, I, no. honestly, what you should go check out is uh, go check out our uh, review of the Gearbox Interactive. Uh, <laughs> oh, wow. E3 2021? <laughs> E3 2021 uh, conference thing that they did. Go check it out. Okay. All right, subscribe to the channel, subscribe to our podcast feed, like the video, leave a comment, hit the notification bell, follow us on Twitter and Instagram, and like us on Facebook, Tarkaran, T-W-O. All right.